every time when I think about politics, I feel very sad. I feel I don't understand much about it because there's quite a lot of conflict all the time here. I feel sad because of everybody. They said they fight for democracy. They want to be a democracy. They fight for democracy, but the way each side fighting each other is full of hatred and angry. And many times we can see that if you are not our side, you are any. You are our enemy. Many people think like that. It's so sad to see people hate each other, even they haven't seen each other. They just have different idea about politics. Why people can be angry that much? Why people can hate each other that much? They haven't talked together. They haven't met each other in person, but they listen to. The talk on the news or something like that, and they're just so angry, so upset. Another thing is more serious than that is in some families, when parents and children have different idea in politics, and then they're so angry at each other until they. Disconnect from each other completely. They hate each other. Why we? How can why we have to let the politics ruin our life this much? Whenever we angry, whenever we hate something, somebody, we cannot be happy. We cannot enjoy our life. It's some kind of suffering. It's not very fun. We hate somebody because of we think different way. That's very nonsense to me, but it's happened all over, everywhere. So sad because when I I did not learn much about politics, but what I know about politics, what I Had learned in my life is when we talk about democracy, that means we need to respect other peoples, respect the difference of thinking. So democracy is about the majority of idea or thinking will be uh, accepted, but that means we will ignore the minority of thinking. So that means even we think different way, we still get respect from other people. We still get help from other people. That's the meaning of democracy that I understand. But now it seems like a, if your thinking is not in our side, that means you are our enemy. They fight each other seriously. They attack each other in different way, in all the different way that they can do it. So sad. I feel like there's no reason that human can hate each other because we think differently. We think think different from each other. I cannot fight in the politics because I have no skill, no uh, no interest in that way. But I still love democracy in. The meaning that I understand it. That means we respect people who have different thinking, different idea, because everybody are different. How can we make people think the same way all the time? So whenever we do the same thing, we think the same way. Mainly, it's become dictator. But in normally, we always think different. When we have diversity of thinking, diversity of belief. That means it's beauty, it's security. Because if this thinking fell, this thinking survive. 
it may have many thinking. Some of them fail. Some of them will survive. That mean, that mean is secure for us. So that's the idea of democracy that I understand. But when I look at the in many country in the world now, everybody talk about democracy. But what they did is opposite with democracy in the meaning that I understand. Maybe I um, cannot catch up with the chain. I don't know. But I still believe in the old way that democracy is we respect the different thinking, different idea. We can live together, respect each other, and help each other, even we are different. I think this is the the ideal of democracy that I like it. I don't like dictator. I like to be equal. I like to see people live together equally and harmoniously. So when I cannot expect the democracy from outside much, I think about how can I develop democracy inside me instead. So I have been practicing to be democracy for a while, for a long time. The way I practice is I learn, I practice to respect my son and my wife, respect them the same way I respect myself. So I listen to them, respect their thinking, their belief. I did not try to against them. I will not say that I'm older than you. I know better than you. I have more experience than you, so you need to follow me. You need to listen to me. I will delete this kind of thinking out of my head. I have this thinking in my head for a long time. I grew up in this way. But to practice to be democracy, I need to try to delete this thinking out of my head. So it's not easy, but it takes time. But after practice for a while, I feel like it's so light, it's so easy. Because I don't need to manage everything for other people. I respect their thinking, their need, their want, so they can do what they want. My job is just to support them. So my family, everybody have a lot of freedom. They, they are independent. They grow up in their own way. They can do what they want. So, I feel like this kind of democracy is so light, so fun, so nice. And everybody can grow in the way that they want to grow. You can see diversity in the family. My wife thinks this way, my son thinks this way, and I think this way. So, this kind of democracy is nice. It's tiny democracy, but it's very big impact. It's very important thing. I, I want to develop more.